guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you didn't know this by my description in the description box or what I just completely showed you, I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome and cute binders. So I'm just going to put only the ones that were kind of hard and I'm going to start with the easiest ones. So here with this emoji tape, all you want to need the emoji binder as I call it. You will need spray paint or paint, masking tape, scrap paper, design of your liking, and one, of course, one little emoji. So I put tape into square, two triangles, meeting each other and meeting each other. See a perfect example. I went down, up, down, and up, kind of a zigzag line, and then I spray painted. I spray painted. I use spray paint. I spray painted colors everywhere, and then I carefully removed the tape. I carefully removed the tape and then it was like this, of course I had to scrape some edges and of course there was a few mistakes but I just covered them up with my emoji and then the reason why I said scrapping paper and I kind of like taped it on here is because I don't know what this binder is, what subject it's going to be so I'm just going to write on, you know, math or science, you know what I mean? So this was the first binder that's kind of easy. I think this was like the last one, the last binder I did. Then here the second easiest binder is what I call the, pa the pattern binder because I don't know what pattern this is. I just drew it in. I just drew it in. You need spray paint, slash paint, and mask paper again. This was a little bit more easier. All I did was put type everywhere and every which way I don't even know just made big triangles I don't know what I did honestly and then I just spray painted some red and then more blue and then I kind of mixed it all together and then this is what I got I did blue on this one because this one was like a lighter blue and that was like dark blue so that's why I did that was really cool I really like this one so that's it these I found the target for like two dollars each so in all it was only like 10, 20 no, like twelve dollars or something. Okay, the next one I think I'm going to do is the hardest one that was hard to do, and I said choice a choose a pattern that you like and just go with it. And we also need scrap paper, so I just did like this like boxes and then inside were little boxes of random patterns, and then I boxes with boxes inside of it. Then I just did this middle part, which is like boxes and boxes, and then this, which I'm going to write math, science, you know, whatever. And then I just did big boxes of each of those up there. I don't know. It was like a really cool thing. Ah. Just saying, if you guys don't have paper like this, I took, you know, this is like when you come in the binder, this is what you get. So I just turned them over, and I had this like white space. So I was able, and I just really put it inside the little pocket right here. I don't think you, you can see it right now. And then I just kind of placed it in the middle. And that was really it to my this binder. Uh, you're going to need, uh, this one was my, find, my favorite one. One of my favorite, one of my favorites was my second favorite. So, um, let's take this out for a minute. So what I did was, I just took the yet again another one of those papers and I kind of did these random designs and then I put it also in the sleeve because it's kind of easier because you know it won't be like you're not going to be afraid that's going to come off or anything because you don't have to worry about gluing but if you do have to glue I suggest super glue hot glue gun or at least clear Elmer's glue and then my I have my brother's room and my brother has one of those little baby carpets, you know, that are all the ABC letters and I just saw a B. And of course you can do anything like a big emoji if you want, a big cupcake, I don't really care. You can put any you can even put like a picture of center or something. But I decided to do my letter, of course. And it's, I thought it would be too fat to go in, but it was pretty easy. So again, this was like two dollars. It was pretty good. This one, what I did was I took um, this birthday, this birthday thing, and this like this big birthday wrapper that I had left over from school, from parties and everything. 
and yet again it's the same paper it's the same paper you know black paper yeah, yeah whatever and i just put that i kind of cut the edges like on a slide kind of and then i used the little square of the wrapping paper and then i put another piece of paper from wrapping paper i flipped it upside down and i just so i can write you know science mouth so it's just dirty you know so that's it for this so those are my cool binders that i'm going to use this year um stay tuned because i am going to be doing also more back to school designs things new um comment down below which of these binders you think is the best um i honestly really really love this one i don't know i just really like the colors and i like it how it like pops kind of thing. each color complement. my second choice would have to be this one of course uh what was the heart and you comment down which one you would do and that's really it guys so have a nice back to school year bye